this is a model of the lymphatic uh, system uh, shown on the model are all the lymphatic vessels and these are shown in like white lines the lymphatic vessels they will all connect to uh, gather to form two lymphatic ducts. Uh, the largest is the thoracic duct, which is this one in here. And uh, the thoracic duct uh, collects from all of the lower part of the body and the upper left side of the body. All the fluid collected by the thoracic duct will uh, return to the blood by connection to the left subclavian vein. The second duct, which is known as the right lymphatic duct, collects from the right upper side of the body and it will return the fluid to the blood by connecting to the right subclavian uh, vein. So this is the right lymphatic duct and that is the right subclavian vein. The model also shows that there are structures called lymph nodes located around the lymphatic vessels and they are found in all parts of the body. Uh, some of these lymph nodes uh, are present in certain areas in the body in a group or clusters. So one of these groups is shown in here in the neck area. These represents the cervical lymph nodes. The other group that is very clearly shown on the model uh, is a group of the lymph nodes in the armpit. Uh, that's the axillary lymph nodes. Another one that's easily shown is in the groin area and uh, these represents the inguinal uh, lymph nodes. So that's a very uh, brief summary of the what's shown on the model in terms of the lymphatic system components.